found this little dresser. It was $70 for a few weeks, and then they marked it down to 34 I don't think the hardware is original, and it was pretty dirty overall. But it was very unique. Bent wood. Not sure how old it is. The top was broken when I got it. I think it happened when it was donated. Maybe got broken in the store. But a lot of work, but not impossible. Such a cute little dresser. This is one of the blocks that fell off from behind the leg. Someone was nice enough to put it in the drawer. So time for good cleaning. I just use uh, dish soap and warm water. I wipe it down and then uh, dry it off. A lot of gunk and build up. I have no idea when this was last cleaned. Water is pretty dirty. There it is, all clean. All the shelves stacked up nicely. So, time to scrape off all the old glue and broken wood from underneath. This took a really long time. I also did some hand sanding. Did the same to the back of the uh, top. It was uh, really uneven. So yeah, the joint was pretty warped and the top was really crooked. There was a dip in the middle. So I've taped it all up here and I'm going to start putting on the uh, stripper. The uh, stripper is safe to use indoors, but still wear gloves and a respirator and keep the window open. It works pretty good. So this is what it looks like as it's been sitting for about 20 minutes. It just needs some time to work. Then it's scraping time. Really gross stuff. I had to do two passes with this, so scraped it all off, and then reapplied everything, and scraped it off again. Then I finally got back to uh, bare wood. To neutralize the stripper, you just wash it off with uh, warm water. Taking off all the layers revealed some pretty nice wood underneath. It also revealed some white putty from some previous repairs. Who knows when that was done. So I did lightly sand this because it was veneered. I didn't want to do too much sanding. I was scared I was going to remove it. Now it's time to glue. So I added a layer of glue on both sides and I also built up some wood putty in the middle to help with that dip. Now I've clamped it all down, got it as close as I could, and found a good use for my wife's vegetarian cookbook. The clamping was left on overnight. Now to find out if it actually worked. I was really worried about it gluing on crooked. And because the top was so warped, I didn't know if it would go down flat again. As you can see, it took a lot of clamps. It's kind of like Christmas unwrapping a present. I never thought I could get it perfect, but I just wanted to get it as close as I could. And you know what? I was pleasantly surprised. Everything went back together quite well. The joint was pretty level, and it was really solid. 
there's really not much I could do about this gap but it came together quite well so I gave it one more light sanding and now I'm applying some linseed oil just to help brighten up the wood I actually did three coats of linseed oil the wood was so dry it just kept soaking it up but quite the improvement here it is all dried so it's a little bit redder than the base time to try and cover up these putty repairs from way back when so I got a set of furniture color pens the color did match quite well but I couldn't quite get the color match to stay on the putty so applying it to the actual wood worked a lot better I didn't have any veneer patches to repair with so this will have to do as to the character anyways so yeah it just seemed to kept beating up and not drying and I didn't really like how it looked so I got some brown enamel paint and just lightly touched it up and tried to blend it in I was hoping it would look like a little wood knot and now I'm applying wipe on polyurethane I did about six coats of this to get to the end and as you can see as I'm wiping the uh, white putty is blended in quite nice and here it is all dry all protected there's that little white spot really turned out nice so this is definitely redder than the base but the base has a yellow color because I believe the finish is so old so over time it should start to match up again just might be quite a few years before it does even though there's a gap I'm pretty pleased with it so time to turn it upside down after about seven days of curing this I just used sandpaper to remove the finish on these legs I wanted to keep as much of the flaws as I could but a lot of the finish was already fallen off so here they are all sanded for sandpaper I used 150 180 220 and then I did a little bit of finishing with 300 now I'm just applying some linseed oil really needed it it was so dry I also applied linseed oil to the bottom and I did use a little bit of stain to try and match the stain turned out a lot better than I thought it would you can still see all the flaws which I really like and then I did about four to five coats of wipe on polyurethane just to help protect the wood some more and here it is all dry matches really nice just used a little bit of paraffin wax to rub in all the joints on all the drawers to help them open and close nicely and some beeswax polish for the entire dresser and here it is all done I'm pretty sure the hardware knobs are not original but they're okay for now
It may be small, but it's really unique. I really enjoyed doing this project. I think it turned out pretty good. Thanks for watching.